Succulent plants are all the rage in the DIY gardening world. Is it because they're hard to kill? I hope so. Horticulturalist Rachel Zutenhorst loves these little succulents and cool projects and teaches other people to do the same. Look at that. That's so great. And she's here with her latest creations. Thank you. Yes. How'd you get so into these? Um, I've been in horticulture since I was 15 years old. And um, this past November, I started um, doing these little classes. And they are so popular and people have really taken to them. So just the the, the one that we're doing today is um, this one? yes the pot in the pot and here's another pot in the pot uh, yes oh, pot in the pot that. that's so cool and uh, also known as sucky pot in a pot okay. but um, <laughs> all over Instagram and it is just a really cute arrangement that we're going to we be do making see them everywhere and what's what's cool to me about them is they're going to be beautiful all mm -hmm. the time they don't flower and die flower and die mm -hmm. um, and the textures and the the intricacy of the way the little plant works yeah. and, and looks is so great. So how do we get started? We All do? right, so we're going to fill this up. We're going to almost to the top. Okay. So I, you have a scoop right here. I'll share. And um, this is a succulent cactus mix that I have pre-mixed um, for us. Now, if we and go to the store to buy this, is there a particular kind of mix that we buy? Or um, you you would buy a pre-made cactus if you want to um, go that route. Otherwise, a lot of people make their own. Um, or What's should I say, about mix it? their own? Mix their own. Um, yeah. <laughs> and there, make dirt. yeah, you would actually, um, but it's much easier and um, to just go buy a bag of cactus mix. What's in it that's different from regular potting? Um, it has a lot more um, l the rock substance, so um, perlite usually It'll is drain it. well. Yeah, and all that. Okay. Uh -huh. Is mine full enough or need we more? might want to because we're putting. Um, another pot in it it needs to so basically we're going to take this because it's the pot in the pot mm -hmm. we are taking a smaller pot okay and we are gently going to press it down and if we need to um, move some of the soil around we can we're going to press it down okay mm -hmm. kind of make it level and then we're going to gently push down the soil and at this point we might want to add neater than cisco he makes oh. a giant mass so I like to be He's clean. He's going to get me for that. <laughs> so you might want to just press it down a little bit more. Okay. And then we're going to put the soil. How much pot do I want showing when it's all we said and done? We want a good done. amount of the pot because that is just part of the bouquet. Okay. Is this is what is going to be. How am I doing? Is that fair enough? Yep. Oh, we well, might. Yep. Pull it out a little, a little bit. bit. Yes. Okay. And then we can just push the soil underneath. Give it a little yep. support. And make sure that it's centered. Okay. All right. Are we going to plant something in yes. the pot? Yes. Yes. Oh. What we're going to do? Okay. Now I'm getting is, it. All right. So first of all, um, I brought. These are so popular right now. These are, these like are string peas. of pearls. Yeah. And um, it's a type of a senecio, and it is a succulent. And a succulent is um, really just a plant that stores water in its leaves. Mm -hmm. So basically, we're going to take it, and we can use the soil um, container to kind of. We're going to take off most of the roots. Okay. I was going to say, because we've got so much mm -hmm. dirt here. And so we're going to use this as our spiller. And we're going to do this, and then we're going to gently place the spiller inside the container. All right. And push it down in there. I'm going to try. And it's going to come spilling over the small little container. Okay. The little pot. All righty. Well, it's not maybe quite as attractive as yours, but I'm getting there. Is that it's roughly like a, how and, I want it? Yes. We'll kind of hide the roots a little bit. Okay. Poke those down. Yeah. There we go. Ah, yes. All right. That looks better. Thank so you. So using, um, we have for our um, focal points or our thrillers, mm -hmm. I have, you can use almost, I just wanted to give a big selection of different sepervivums and different, these guys are so cute. This is a Adorable. cryptanthus. And, um, they're really easy to grow. They have um, beautiful leaves. So uh, you're going to take and you're just going to grab some of the bigger um, foliage succulents okay. and use the choose your um, focal points okay. and basically just kind of place them around. And as you um, continue the project, add soil as needed. Mm -hmm. Now you have classes for this, correct? I do. I have. How um, do we find you to? Get a class? I am on Facebook and also um, through Eventbrite. I sell all my tickets oh, on Eventbrite, good. so um, I can be found there if your people are not on Facebook. 
Um, after you um, put some focal points, depending on where you're going to put them, you can put, um, we have these different types of echeverias too. Oh, I love those. Yes, things. these are so cute. They are so beautiful and different. Now, how do we take care of these guys? Do they need so much at attention? first, um, because we're using, um, we haven't got there yet, but we will be using some non-rooted cuttings, which we will be just, like all these little accents right here are going to be our filler. Mm -hmm. And basically what we're gonna do is just take these um, and trim them and pop them around. And these will be our accents. And they'll grow um, in there? Yes, they will. And because um, they're fresh, we want to wait a little bit. Um, usually I wait about a week to water, um, do a heavy water, just because you want the um, ends to callus over. Right. And um, and do we, um, do we so need then, to put them near sun? Yes, they like bright light okay. um, in the... Um, you better hurry. Yeah. You got three days to get bright light for your plants and then it's all yes. over, people. Thank goodness it's super sunny out today. <laughs> but these can actually go outside um, once the weather starts warming up. Um, I'd say middle of um, May. We're almost June, July. with our time, but I found this really interesting. So you have like yes. this little mustard bottle. Is mm -hmm. that a good way to get yes, the water great in there? Yes, a great way to water. Perfect and precise. Good to know. And uh, yeah, you can clean it off your leaves too That's by doing this. Which I actually need. And then yeah. you just used a little bit of. Uh, yes, we will use rocks special pebbles as, to. Yep. So those around go around the so, bottom. It looks so fresh and beautiful, and just who wouldn't want this? And we can do it indoors or out. Yep. Indoors or out. Thank awesome. You. Rachel is teaching her pot in the pot workshop on Friday, April 12th at the Creamery Company in Marysville. For ticket information and a link to all of her upcoming workshops, please head to our website. That was fun. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. That was really beautiful. When we come back, we're going to travel all around the world in luxury and style. This is the way to vacation right after this.